So one of our big issues with working off of a spreadsheet is what's stopping someone from typing in incorrect data. Say for example, we look at the registration date. Well, let's just say for example that it is uh, 2016, we're in the future, and somebody tries to register for, uh, they came in and they're like, oh yeah, I totally uh, signed up like 13 years ago or three years ago. And they're trying to register now or, you know, in the past. Well, that doesn't really work. So suddenly, what can we do? Inside of my data tab, I have a section called data validation. Now, what happens here is that we can actually have Excel validate, force the user to enter in proper data. If we click on this, you'll see that it actually specifies now a data validation setting. So in this case, right now, B3, the registration date cell, it's allowed to have anything it wants in it. I can type in, uh, hello, mom, and it's gonna put it in there. But if I come into data validation, I can actually come in and instead of allowing any value, I can allow, say for example, a date. And I can also allow that that date uh, must be uh, greater than, for example, uh, let's see, we'll say 1-1-2015. They have to have signed up at least this year. When I hit OK, then it looks like it's going on there. But let's try and do that again. Let's say 12, 15, 20, 13. As soon as I hit enter, oh no, the value you entered is not correct. The user has restricted the values entered into this cell. Now I can't type it in that information. Now it will always be something before, something above uh, 2015. Well, what about down here at age group? Age group, for example, is another area where we might need to kind of limit what my user is doing. Uh, again, because if we look at this uh, age group, well, that's my age group right there. That those are my valid age groups. So I don't want them uh, doing, you know, something like P9 because that's not an age group. What I can do is I can come back to data validation again, and this time instead of selecting date, I can actually select list. And inside of this list option, what I'm able to do is I can select a source. Now again, my source is D5 to D10. So if I click and highlight D5 to D10, and I hit OK, guess what appears right next to my age group? Suddenly, I have a drop down menu. I can't change this. I can't come in here and do um, 100. Again, not valid data. It has to be something from this drop down menu. We keep on going with the exact same thing. I'll do it again for my shirt size. And I'll do it one more time for my sock size. And so now each one of these has to be entered in through a drop-down menu. It cannot be selected any other 